I've got five really nice free plugins to show you today and I'll be using them all on just one demo. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you will. I'll be running through how I've used these five free plugins in my demo stroke groove in just a moment. But first of all, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, DistroKid. If you follow the VIP discount link in the description down below, you'll get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. Now, let's dive in and use these free plugins. So first up, I have Delay 11. I think they're called Platon Studios, the main is here now before I switch this on and I demo this let me just play you the thing we're going to be applying it to which is this piano so I'll bypass to begin with I think you get the idea Then I'll turn bypass off this is initially set to quarter beats now you can either sync this to your door or you can set it to milliseconds down here I'll have it synced to my door and it's currently going to be sounding like this okay so we've got some delay happening there but it's not uh, the most interesting delay in the world so I'm going to um, change this to eighth notes and then dotted a bit of a classic delay setting have a listen now Mm, getting interesting now. I'm just going to turn the mix down a little bit so we've got a little bit more of the original. And then the next thing I'm going to play with is a little bit more feedback, meaning we'll just get more delays. That's working nicely for me. And the balance control I'm not going to be using, but as you can imagine, it either pushes the delays to the left or to the right. I'll skip that. Um, and let's add some width to this. nice I like it now we've also got sort of two tone controls if you like brightness and darkness I'm not going to add any darkness or sort of low into this I'm just going to add some brightness so we get a sort of a ticky tacky feel to it So note that these controls get applied to the delay, not to the original signal. And then finally, my probably my favorite part of this is I'm gonna add in a little bit of, well, quite a lot of drive, some grit, which again is only gonna be applied to the delays. Have a listen. Okay, I think we're off to a good start. We have another plugin here from Platon Studios. This one is called Flex Reverb. Quite a straightforward reverb to use, but again, has a few tricks up its sleeve. Now, I have it applied to the piano, but I've switched off the delay for just a moment so that we can hear just what the reverb is doing. Have a listen to it in its more or less default setting. as you may expect, okay? Now, what I like about this is when you push the size control up, so we sort of make our room bigger, there's a nice amount of modulation on there, which I rather like, have a listen. You can just hear some pitch modul modulation happening there um, on the on the reverb, which is rather nice. We've got a width control. It's already up pretty wide. We could make it more narrow. But I like it wide, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, we've got a dampening control, which sort of suppresses some high frequencies. And then we've got a pre-delay as well. If you don't know what pre-delay is, it creates a little bit of a time delay between the initial sound and the reverb coming in. We get some pretty interesting effects with this pre-delay as we push it further up. Have a listen. You hear how it sort of makes some of those notes really stand out? 
I'm going to leave it like that because I rather uh, like it. Now, as you can see at the top here, um, we have a low pass filter happening. OK, we can move that around. Low pass filter is super, super handy on a reverb plugin because you can cut out all of that low end build up that you tend to get with reverb, especially on for, sort of full range instruments like a piano. Um, but also we can uh, add more nodes in to control this EQ. So if we do one towards the top here, I'll just double click that automatically creates uh, a low pass filter there okay this one's a high pass that one's a low pass um, or you can add in some sort of regular EQ nodes in here as well you can control some of this um, with your mouse I'm using my mouse wheel here or you can just use the controls at the bottom so you can just change the frequency uh, change the Q like so um, and adjust the gain for that node as you would with a lot of EQ controls so it's super nice that it's got that in there I think it's really well presented as well for a free plugin so we've got that now applied to our piano let's turn our delay back on and see what we've got so far I like it but there's a lot of top end inf top end top end information let's have some bass in there I'm um, a simple man with simple taste which is why I like this AI bass mini this is a cut down version of a full product you'll find out that some of the features aren't available in the lower half of this piano keyboard if you play them it gives you a message to say they're only available in the full blown product but it is still useful as a free plugin if you just want a straightforward electric bass sound which sounds like this so if that's what you want you'll get that right out of the box now in the demo i have used um some octaves together and played those and there are some small tuning discrepancies i reckon between some of these notes which i rather like to be honest with you because it adds that little bit of sort of imperfection to it which i kind of like so let's have a listen to it in the context of the demo so far Now we do have a few controls available here. We've got ADSR, which is attack, decay, sustain, release. So if you want a sort of a really slow attack on this bass guitar, you can make it sound like this. I didn't want that for this demo, so I put that back down here. There's also an overdrive section here. Have a listen. which could work in this demo, but I've opted to switch it off. And also a chorus. You can't beat a chorus on a bass guitar. Have a listen. Haven't said you can't beat a chorus on a bass guitar. I actually had it switched off for the demo. So I actually used it in a very, very simple way because I enhanced it a little bit with one of the other free plugins we're going to be looking at in a moment. By the way, don't forget when you're ready to release your music, follow the link in the description down below and use our sponsor DistroKid. They're very cheap, they're very easy, and they get it out to all of the major platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, on Google Play, etc., etc. Just follow the link in the description down below. EQ 1979 is pretty much a Neve console strip emulation. Um, there's two main sections to it. You've got your sort of drive section here, which we'll have a listen to in a moment. Sounds pretty nice, actually. And then you've got your main EQ section here. Now, I could add some drive to this piano. Let's have a listen. But I sort of feel there's enough on the delays already. It's gritty enough there. I could just put it down on a low setting, I think. Um, now, the other section, as I say, is the EQ section. A little tip for you, a couple of tips for you, actually, if you download this and use it. You need to make sure you switch the EQ section on by clicking on EQ over here. Otherwise, you're going to play with these knobs and you may even think something's changed, but you'll be tricked and fooled by your eyes nothing will have changed unless you switch that on so i've just used this to boost a little bit of a high the high shelf there and also the the mid frequencies i haven't touched the low end on this well i have but not using this low end we'll get to that in a moment now another quick tip when you make adjustments here 
um, you need to set the frequency with this mid and low, these, these mid and low controls. I played around with this for a while and I just couldn't get anything to change. You know, I was dragging things around. I was trying to type on there. I couldn't. What you've got to do is left click on there and then drag up and down to select your frequency. Okay. Not all that intuitive, I have to say, but it's free. So I'm not going to complain too much. Um, and as I say, let's have a listen to what it does if I sort of push these high and mid frequencies a little bit. Now I wanted to get the low end of the piano out of the way of the bass guitar a little bit. So that's why I use this high pass filter over here set to 50 um, hertz there. So that's sort of just, you know, getting it out of the way. It's cutting out those lower frequencies there. That's what I use that for. I also use this on the bass guitar just ever so slightly. Um, if we go over to that instance, um, you can see that I actually um, added some uh, low frequencies in here around about 60 hertz okay just gave it a bit of a boost there just to give that bass guitar sound a little bit more meat so i added some drums to my demo and i wanted to mess them up a little bit using this plugin which is called rust this is great if you want to make things sound a little bit more lo-fi kind of like they're sounding uh, that they're on a vinyl lp or something like that okay now i'm going to start off by using this age control here i'll play the drums you'll hear exactly what it does have a listen Yeah, instantly sounds really lo-fi and nice. I rather like that. Then we've got hiss control here, which sort of sounds, sounds like any tape or electronic hiss. Yeah, and we can modulate that using this movement control here. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then also we can add the effect of sort of dust on a record. Have a listen. So obviously you can combine all of those things together. But what I actually wanted to do was only apply this to the snare. So I was just using these rather simple settings for that. And I was also using one of the earlier plugins that we used, which was this delay plugin. So the final effect of all of that using Rust on the snare with the delay is this. The best way for me to know which types of plugins I should recommend to you is via the comments down below. Which of these plugins are you going to use? Which do you think are absolute garbage? I'd love to hear from you on that. If you want to find out about a whole heap more plugins, a whole heap more, I'll keep that in there, then follow this playlist down here. You can get more there.